The following video features excerpts from three recorded live lessons. To learn more about how you can access weekly live lessons like this, visit thevirtualinstructor.com forward slash members. We'll go ahead and bring that, that strong diagonal that happens here closer to the foreground. And then we can go back in and indicate some of these little mountain ranges that happen in between. I want it to be right in the dead center. Again, that can lead to kind of a stagnant composition. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and dip here into the ultramarine and get a good amount of the material on the applicator. And then I'm going to go right into the white as well. And uh, you can see here that these are going to mix a little bit. And it's going to muddy up that corner. But that's okay because I can wipe that out when I'm done. So I'm going and I'm, I'm making different strokes here, letting those strokes go in a little bit of a different direction as I'm applying it here. And this is just our initial application. And then we'll start adding some of those clouds. And I'm just kind of looking at the shape and, you know, not, not looking at it or not, uh, you know, not getting too obsessed and in the shape, but I'm getting kind of an idea of the shape of the cloud and then just putting that information on the surface. Hopefully you can see already how, uh, you know, like any other drawing or painting, it takes a few minutes to start to develop things so that it starts to make sense. And I've noticed that with a lot of people sometimes, they'll start to develop things, they'll get into it, and then they hit a point where you know, they, in their mind, they feel like things aren't working and they just stop uh, instead of continuing to work on. And, uh, you know, you've got to, you got to keep working a drawing or a painting to where you get to a point where you start to understand how the value relationships are going to work, how the colors are going to work, how everything's going to make sense in the end. And you don't really fully understand it till the very end, but you start to understand it. And it starts to make sense to you, but you got to put a lot of time in up front sometimes. And you just got to continue. Now, of course, some of this range is going to be covered up by our trees that we're going to put in the foreground, but we're going to go ahead and develop them a little bit. Now, as I'm putting down colors, I'm going to kind of evaluate uh, what I need to do here. If I need to add a little bit of green right here, I might start doing that, but I want it to be kind of a gradual change. I don't want to get too drastic from the, the purples in the, in the distance and then all of a sudden start going to these greens. So I'm probably going to transition to more of a blue first. I'm just going to use kind of a circular motion here create a little bit of the indication of the textures of the trees. Now, we still got to go back and add some highlighted areas in here and push the values a little bit. So, very subtly darker. I only like to pick up a little bit of color at a time. And then I've got my paper towel here and I'll kind of wipe off some of the color. And that kind of allows me to control it a little bit easier. Because I can, and then we'll just start pulling some of that color up, that mixture. And uh, it's, it might be hard to tell a little bit, but it kind of feels like it kind of goes up, or it kind of pulls up. Uh, the grass is kind of growing upward. So I'm going to try to make the strokes kind of follow that direction as I'm adding this. Very you know, you can create the, the shapes of the trees and, and the things that you need in here. And you just have, kind of have to let those things be a little, a little looser and just let them happen. All right, a little bit of the pure white here right on top of the applications that I've put down. And we'll let that sit and see if that's too strong. And it is a little too strong. It needs to be warmed up. And we don't want it to look unnatural. Sometimes that white can kind of make things look um, kind of... If, if, especially if you're putting it over the top of green, it's going to make it look minty. Um, and that's not necessarily what we're after here. So we'll warm it up with a little bit of yellow ochre. Yeah. 
And I'm using the corner here to kind of move the color around. All right, nice little dark shape down here. Let's make sure that's in the camera. We'll just let those shapes happen. You know, one thing that's it's really easy, if you're like me, it's really easy to kind of get caught up in all the details that you see. And I, I that is one thing that I have worked on improving over the years with myself personally, and that is just trying to break myself from all the details that you see. And uh, sometimes it's hard to really... For somebody like myself, sometimes it's really hard to pull away from those details and just allow those shapes to happen. You know, everybody's not like that. Some people just see those shapes naturally and they don't mind that it's nice and loose. And I don't mind that it's nice and loose, but sometimes those details creep in the way and all I see is grass blades. <laughs> uh, and I'm, so light source is coming from the right side so that means most of these shadows are going to happen on the left side but that doesn't mean they all happen on the left side of course there's a few that happen over here on the right side and we're basically going to just have three dominant values that define these trees. Well, we might add a little bit more to it, but we'll have the, the kind of mid-tone shape that we added initially, and now we're going to the mid-tone color that we added initially that kind of defined the shape. Now we're defining some of the shadows. more organic marks is what I should say and uh, I'm just going over the top of this with white and yellow ochre making a few areas a little bit lighter I'm using the corner here to do so if you use too much of a, a, a good amount if you use a good amount of geometric shapes in your tree <laughs> it's gonna look fake that's what I should say Bring a little bit of this color down over the distant field there. And that, I don't know if you can tell that or not, but it's really helping to define the tree. Now, maybe there's a break right here where we can kind of see the field behind it. And maybe just another little break. Okay, I've got a burnt umber now, um, and I'm kind of taking a little bit of a chance here. I'm pushing some of the darker values here in the foreground, and I'm going to uh, try something here, actually. I'm um, putting these down just to kind of create some darker values. Where It looks like we've got some areas where it's a little bit darker. And then I'm actually going to use the applicator and see if we can't mix that in a little bit. I definitely want those darker values here. Let's see. Create good contrast. So I've got uh, this kind of a, an off-white color. It's it's almost a cream color. So we'll put a few more marks here in the foreground. It's definitely lighter than than the light orange that I used a moment ago. And uh, then we'll just pull up a few here and there. Almost a white, not quite though. Let's add a little bit of it in pieces here and there. Closer to the foreground. Just let them be little specks of color. And trust me, right now I'm fighting my temptation to go in and add details just everywhere. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the... The, the paintings and drawings that I like to look at the most are the ones that just do so much in plying and allow you to make sense of the marks. And there's just so much good stuff that happens in seeing an artist mark without over explaining things. 
All right, now I've got the white, and I'm just hoping this isn't going to be too strong. I'm going to start to define some of the clouds here, and I may blend those in a little bit. You know, ideally, you want to have this all figured out from the beginning so you don't have to work around what you've already put down in the foreground. And then I'll go back and add a little bit more highlight. I'm just kind of, and let's put a few indications of some highlights over here as well. Just a few. 